Please write temperature on top of your note paper here, and we shall talk a little bit here. Most of you kind of have temperature figured out for the most part. Um, but the book brings up temperature here because temperature is one of the few places that we deal a lot with what's called the negative numbers. And if we draw ourselves a little bit of a thermometer here, Again, the old school thermometer that nobody has anymore because they were dangerous. In our little system of measuring here, we have zero degrees there. Uh, water, what freezes at, let's go, here's 10, 20, 30. Right about here at 32 degrees is freezing. Okay, but and then boiling is way up here somewhere. But what we're looking at a little bit more is what happens when the numbers, when the temperature drops below zero. Below zero. And these numbers here are negative numbers. And if you think about negative numbers, actually let's kind of take our little thermometer lay it on its side, put zero here, one, two, three, four. You know, we're pretty familiar with all the numbers that are on this side of the number line. We deal with positive numbers all the time, blah, 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 blah. But we don't always talk about negative numbers, and that would be the numbers that go on this side of the line. These numbers, when you put all of them together, if you ever hear the word integers in math, integers, integers are both the positive and the negative numbers. So we're talking about integers today a little bit. And it's a little strange. Here's some of the things to get, you have to think about when you do with negative numbers because they're a little backwards. Okay. Remember, as numbers go this way on the number line, they keep getting smaller, right? 3 is smaller than 4, 2 is smaller than 1, 1 is smaller than all of those. Well, the thing with integers is, you know, you think of, if you compare negative 1 to negative 5, what number, which one of those is actually bigger? And if you think about that, the, the way to ask yourself is this, if you're talking about temperature, what temperature is actually warmer? Because that's what you're actually looking at. Allie? Negative one. Negative one is. And that's a little backwards from our thinking because five is bigger than one. But when you talk about negatives, when you talk about negatives, the smaller the negative is actually the bigger the number is. And a good way to think about that is that at zero degrees, you know, if it's negative 355 degrees, what's bigger, zero or negative 355? Zero. Zero is. Zero is a lot warmer. Matter of fact, it's huge compared to negative 355. So you have to think about, when you talk about negative numbers, you always have to kind of think a little bit in reverse because it's a little bit opposite of what you're taught to think. Now write down this problem here, and we'll talk about how to do this here. Um, the highest temperature... Uh, wait, let me see. I'm going to find it here. Now I need to find a good, I need to find a good problem here. How about this? Um, in the afternoon, in the afternoon, noon, the temp was... 32 degrees. At night, 
is wrapped to minus 5 degrees. How much did the temp drop? If you end up with a problem like this, what do you suppose your teacher is going to tell you to do? Write it down. Well, you don't have to write that whole problem down, but what you need to do is to sketch it out so you can kind of see it. You don't have to really draw a whole big thermometer. What you can just do is draw a line and put as big zero on it because we're talking about numbers that go above zeros and numbers that go below zeros. How high did it get? 32 degrees. So you have like 10, 20, 30, 32 degrees. How low did it get? Negative five. Negative five degrees. And you're looking for the difference between these numbers. How much did it drop? And you have to think about this a little bit. To go from 32 degrees to zero, from here to here, how far did it drop? 32 degrees, right? But it didn't stop there. It kept going down for how many more degrees? Five more. So if it dropped 32 degrees and then another five more, how much did the temperature drop? Right. 37 degrees. Now some of you would think, well, I should just take 5 away from 32 and get 27. No, you have to remember, you know, it kept going and it kept dropping. So you have to be careful. Sometimes you'll add those together. And that's why you want to sketch your picture so that you make sure that you're adding or subtracting, as you probably should. Um, take a look at... Look at page 640 in your books, please. 640 in your books. Let's just look at the practice problem there. Are you with me, page 640? Letter A says, use digits and symbols to write the temperature that is 12 degrees below zero. Well, I'm pretty sure everybody knows how do you draw 12 degrees below zero. That is just, yeah, 12 degrees below zero is minus 12 degrees below zero. Uh, well, and it's Fahrenheit, so we've got to make sure that we... What's cold? Are minus 12 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 12 degrees Celsius? Fahrenheit. Oh, yeah. Zero is hotter. Yeah, you got to remember, 32 degrees Fahrenheit is the same as zero Celsius, so 17 below is not, not terribly cold. Letter B says, what temperature is shown on that thermometer? What temperature is shown on that thermometer? Make sure you know what this little thing is. Brian? Negative 5 degrees Celsius. Yep, negative 5 degrees Celsius. Letter C, if the temperature shown on the thermometer is 14 degrees lower than the high temperature for the day, then what was the high? In other words, if you add 14 degrees to what's shown on the thermometer, and here again would be somewhere where you'd have to think about this. This is where you'd write it down, remember? We're at negative 5 degrees, right? We've got 0 degrees, and we want to add 14 degrees on negative 5. How many degrees? What would be the temperature? Adding 14 degrees to negative 5. Victoria? Negative 19 degrees. No, 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 no. We're not going down. The temperature went up 14 degrees, not down 14. If it went down 14 degrees, it would be minus 19. But it went up, up, ladies and gentlemen, up. Eddie Clark? 19 degrees. It would not be 19 degrees. Now think about this. To get to zero, how many degrees would it have to go up to get to zero? Five. Five. Right? I'm only going up 14 degrees. Five of them got you up to zero. You're, you need to go up another how many to get to, to make a 14 there? Andrew? Nine. Nine degrees. And that's why you draw those pictures because, you know, it takes one, two, three, four, five to get here. And then you'd have to start, you know, five plus what number gives you 14? <coughs> that would be where nine degrees comes from. That's 
why temperature is tricky, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages. How about letter D? If the temperature falls 3 degrees from the temperature shown, if it was 5 degrees below zero and then it goes down 3 degrees. Again, if you drew the picture there, here's minus 5 degrees, here's zero, and it goes down 3 degrees. Not up, but down, Sam. Negative 8 degrees. Negative 8 degrees. Very good. Uh, and we don't have to worry about letter E and F. So please, 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 when you're doing temperature, they ask you those.